because we have this story that uh, it, it beautifully jumps us into how critical race theory is, is uh, uh, I shouldn't say critical race theory, but critical gender theory, critical race theory, and wokeism mm -hmm. is make, it, it, it's, it's manifesting in society. So as we're talking about like Cuomo and women and stuff and these dynamics, we have this story. Nick Cannon calls having children with one woman a Eurocentric concept. The TV presenter has seven children with four different <laughs> oh women. My. So perhaps he's only saying that because <laughs> he's non-monogamous. But they say, Cannon welcomed twins, Zion Mixolydian and Zillion Air with oh. Abby De La Rosa on June 14th. His son, Zen, whom he shares with model Alyssa Scott, was born nine days after Zillion and Zion. Additionally, Cannon welcomed daughter Powerful Queen back in December with Brittany Bell, with whom he also shares four-year-old son, Golden. Cannon is also dad to 10-year-old twins, son Moroccan and daughter Monroe, with ex-wife Mariah Carey, says People Magazine. Wow, I didn't know that about him. Holy moly. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> when pressed about having multiple children with so many women, Cannon said monogamy was a Eurocentric concept just to classify property. Uh, just like the idea uh, that a man should have one woman, we shouldn't have anything. I have no ownership over this person. If we really talking about how we coexist and how we populate, it's about what exchange can we create together. Those women and all women are the ones that open themselves up to say, I would like to allow this man in my world and I will birth this child. So it ain't my decision. I'm just following suit. This, this is amazing. The, I mean, it's, he's basically absolving himself of some responsibility when it comes to having these kids in a way that we're probably not used to. I hear from people all the time. The dude will say something like, we're pregnant, like referring to him okay, and his significant that, other. Yeah. But you hear that a lot. Yeah, I know, but it's kind of repulsive. <laughs> no, that's like, not no, right. we're I, I, pregnant. Fuck you. Have you been not... pregnant? You're not pregnant. I guess, but the point is, like, that's the, at least the guy is saying, like, this is something we're doing together. Like, I guess this is him being like, hey, they wanted to have kids. Don't look at me. <laughs> you know? Yes, yes. I see where you're coming from. Mon Monroe <laughs> is a great name for a girl. Um, that wasn't what you're looking at for a comment, but <laughs> interesting names, um, right? Powerful that, queen. I feel like, though, to be fair, for hey, Nick man, Cannon, <laughs> like he probably he must have had discussions with these women that was like, "This is who I am, and I'm. This is how your life is going to be. Do you want to do this?" And they still were like, "Yes." So I don't. I don't do you know think, or was he that. just like, by the way, you're nine months pregnant. There's two other people who are Whoa. also eight. Come seven on, like hold, hold on. He had a kid in December. Mm. Yeah. He, he, then now he's having another kid. Like. They must know, I guess. Yes, right. Yeah, they must know because she would have been visibly pregnant unless they must know unless he hit. I don't I don't have. No I, idea. I, I think, you know, what it may be is that in the modern world of, of feminism, these women have the means to take care of themselves. Yeah. So they're less concerned about whether yeah. or not there's going to be a dad who's going to mm -hmm. be paying for and supporting the family. The, yeah. ca the Catholic Church. I see where they're saying about the Eurocentric thing is because, like, the Catholic Church is big on monogamy. And it, I don't know if they were doing it for control uh, or if they wanted the, the man to stay with the woman to raise the family. Um, but, like, when you look at the Muslim faith, they would have a guy would have, like, seven wives. Yeah, but yeah. E in the Muslim world, the man is still a part of the family. Like, you have more than one wife, but it becomes, you take like, care a, of them. Right, a big family, and you're there and taking care of them and all the kids, right? Am I crazy? Well, theoretically, I that's mean, what yeah. we're told. I, sh I just want to point see. out, people in Asia get married. It, it, it's, it, this, is, this is the problem with this critical race theory stuff. It's, it's just a lie, an excuse to, to, for whatever behavior they're engaging in that they want an excuse to engage in. So sure, if it is like monogamy is the, the, the traditional or social norm, and now you're trying to not do that, so you just blame Eurocentric, you know, yeah. Eurocentrism or whatever. It's like uh, Asians got married, and they're very family oriented. You know, the kids. How long? How long have they been getting married for? In Asia? Yeah. I don't know the history, but I do know that you know, um, you just think about the concept of arranged marriages, for instance, that go back thousands of years. I think Not they would, like have, they would have concubines in Asia. So they would they would have one wife and then like seven concubines. And it would be women that they just had sex with and had kids with. No, I, I think I think certainly people do that. That was an Asian it, cultural thing. And like the Mongols would have concubines. They would have lots of... They weren't... Why, that's the thing is they would get around it by saying, you know, she's just my side Right, lady. but there are Asian cultures that are very family oriented. They were very like, you know, they, they had these, these, these ideas of, um, you know, different clans would would come together different families essentially what what do you guys think about monogamy in general like is it the way of the future i think uh two parents is scientifically if you look at most of the data proven to uh, 
help raise kids better, I suppose. Or I suppose it should be the standard. And kids who don't have two parents in the house end up doing poorly, more likely to do drugs, more likely to go to jail. So I think that's important. But ultimately, I think there's a lot of people, we've got to make sure we don't fall into the trap of this is the way it's always been. So this is the way we must keep Mm -hmm. doing it. We need to make sure that we're constantly looking at like what actually helps and benefits society. Now, we know two parents does. So it's a problem then when you see like Black Lives Matter say that we want to, you know, what do they say? Disrupt the nuclear family. Yeah. Yeah. We don't we don't want kids with single parents. You know, that's that the data shows that's really bad for them. So I don't know if I, I would say monogamy is a path towards that. But I don't know, man, we're, we're, we're a perpetually libertarian society in a way. Now, we've got this weird authoritarianism, which is more disruptive of tradition as opposed to being pro freedom. So I don't, I don't know ultimately what happens, but I can say I think the direction the critical race theorists, critical gender theorists want to go would be more destructive, mm-hmm. whether you're for or against monogamy. They would Native Americans, I think, and don't, I, they may not be the Native Americans, but there were tribes, I think, where they would raise all the whole tribe would raise all the kids because the guys would have sex with all the women. None of the women knew who the father was. <laughs> so they would like collectively raise all the children together. That's interesting. I never heard that. To me, that almost sounds a little bit like a communistic way to raise children. It's like when Hillary Clinton was saying it takes a village to raise a child. That's a little bit strange to me. And Ian, you mentioned the church. And that's interesting to me as well, because the way I was raised, we were taught that um, Christ is the head of the church and treated the church as his wife. So it was like a big literally like a big family but it wasn't like that communistic raising of the kids it was like a structure for the way that the family should be mom dad kids and it was like really simple really fundamental really basic and we can see that that's a good way to raise kids is to have both parents in the home they need to be together it needs to be structural i'm hugely in favor of monogamy if possible yeah but i think everything's just falling apart well yeah that's true i think everything's falling apart i've always wondered so there's studies on monogamy not to be like the anti-monogamy person because i'm not but the studies on monogamy showing two parent households lead to like more success for your children people who end up splitting up also aren't as well generally speaking right Uh, so like are all those studies controlling for like iq and mental illness and things because you could say i mean if you're going to have two people who are not doing well in the same house, but would be doing better apart, Hmm. I would argue that it's better to have both parents happy than have them arguing in the same house. Yeah. Um, Yeah. But so I just, I don't know how the studies were done. And then were there studies before when monogamy wasn't the main thing? I I think, I would would assume they account for something like this, but it is a good point. I doubt it. All these scientific studies that I've read, like there's such glaring flaws. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't account for something. Well, IQ, I mean, no one accounts for IQ anymore yeah. anyway. Loud, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's a good point though. If like the mom is on drugs and the dad isn't. Yeah, then it's up. like, yeah. yeah. The kid would do a lot better. Yeah. Um, although I guess you run into the risk then of uh, divorce courts favoring women. Right. There was, yeah. a, there was an old case that uh, I read about years and years ago where a, a man divorced his wife because she was doing drugs. Oh, no. And then when they went to court, the court sided with the mom. And even though he was like, you can't give my kids to this woman, she is doing drugs. And then she ended up killing them somehow. Jeez. Holy that. shit. Yeah, yeah it, was a, it was some, some negligence or something. She was drugged and you know the young kids ended up dying somehow. I, I can't remember the exact story. I mean, you can probably Google something yeah, like that. Yeah, well, divorce court is a whole nother thing, right? Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the, uh, MGTOW got banned on Reddit. So what? you'll get you'll get all those you know MGTOW. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they got they got banned on Reddit a few weeks ago. So uh, you know when you mention all this stuff, it's a legitimate problem. If, I didn't if, know they got banned on Reddit. That sucks. That's intense. Yeah. 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 Well, the censorship. It's uh, they're 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 homogenizing their view of what they want the culture to be. So they're excising portions one at a time. You know. Yeah. The legality of marriage is very weird because marriage, the word means to mix. So like two people spending a lot of time Married, together, yeah. mixing their energy, are essentially in a form of marriage. Whether the law says it or not doesn't really matter. Yeah, so that's like a common law marriage. It's something like seven years with but the I, same person. Oh, in Canada, it's a lot shorter. I think. Is I it thought really? it was like, uh, this is going to be wrong, but it's two or three. It may be If you're living in the states. same household in yeah. Ontario anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wow, that's really? pretty. Yeah, it's pretty fast. And I'm pretty sure if you split up after that, if you've been living together, then you still have court to deal with. Oh, wow. What? Even though you're not, yeah. What if you're just roommates? No, no, no. You have to be in a relationship. Like you have to declare what if, it? Yeah, but what if they say that you are? It's iffy. I would assume that that's still okay. I mean, when you're filling out taxes and things, and you can put yourself as common law. So if you started filling that oh, in, I then see. maybe that might screw you out over in the future. But it, it's short. It, I think it's three years. 
Dude. So so I I look at look the the, the, the monogamy and polyamory thing and and polygamy thing I guess polygamy like, people talking about that marrying multiple women I don't yeah. know about about that but uh, we're seeing a lot of these memes now where it's like one woman and like five guys like I don't know you see them on Reddit and it's you like, mean the uh, one when she's on the couch oh no that's a different I mean, one I'm talking <laughs> slightly different yeah <laughs> you, the different one but uh, different we know context, that one so um, we're all familiar with that one no there's like a, there's memes of like it'll be like four dudes on a couch and they all have their arms around like the one one woman and uh, it's talking about like you know polyamorous relationships Very and things like that attractive people. Re regardless of whatever <laughs> there's there's a few things to say one not all change is good not all change is bad but i definitely think this is just a sign of things falling apart like to have kids with a bunch of different women and be like well you know they wanted to do it it's like yeah but i'm, I'm sure he's still going to be there raising his kids but he's having a lot of kids in a lot of different places and he's not going to be able to provide the same kind of leadership that somebody who is you know in a family with kids will be yeah. And more to the point, I'm just saying it's just another sign of I think we're facing we were facing for a long time cultural stagnation. <laughs> Movies were reboots, comics, everything. It was just regurgitated garbage, lowest common denominator. And now it's cultural decay. It's just the movies are getting worse. Have it's, you seen Warrior, the TV show? No, is it good? It's so good. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's about uh, <laughs> sorry to interject. It's about uh, San Francisco and the triads in the 1800s. It's cool. like a cowboy western, but, right it's, oh, cool. but it's Asian people. It's epic. Warrior. I, 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 Other than that, society's over. But yeah. Yeah. Warrior. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. The, the, uh, Electric Dreams I've been talking about because I just watched that. I think it's a couple years old. I'm not sure. Electric a year old. Electric Dreams. Yeah, it's Philip K. Dick. Like, that's cool. I like that. They adapted the book into, you know, or, or stories into these episodes of the show. It's kind of like Black Mirror. It's, it's, pretty, it's a pretty okay. good show. Okay. It's like an anthology. I'm, I'm not saying there's nothing good happening. It's just like. Just Warrior. There was a period where we made new things. You know, we wrote Christmas music and then we played them over and over again. Then it got to a point where a few years ago, I was like, everything's stagnant. We're rebooting movies. We're remaking comic books, Spider-Man 12. You know, we just keep doing it over and over and over again. The same thing instead of making new things. Now we're at the point where they're starting to regurgitate the same content, but in worse, worse ways. Hmm. Like the movies, you know, get what go broke as people often bring up when it comes to video games, movies. They'll try to redo Ghostbusters. And this is where the regurgitation becomes <laughs> from stagnation to decay. I see. Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. If you want to see the full show, come back to this channel, youtube.com slash TimCast IRL, Monday through Friday at 8 p.m., where you can leave comments and super chat, and we actually will read your comments on the show. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And if you want exclusive members-only content, segments you can't get anywhere else, Go to TimCast.com, become a member, and we even have full bonus episodes. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.